just a part of our appearance, it's a part of our identity. It's how we show our personality, our background, our beliefs. So, we decided to make a show about the intersection of hair and culture. Each week we'll explore a different hair trend through the history behind it, the people who drive it, and the culture that keeps it alive. I think that black women are just starting to fall in love with themselves again. And we're starting to understand like it's okay to like kind of express yourself culturally like through your hair. Like, you know, braids are like an art form. It just feels really right on my head having short hair. This is me at like my best self right now. Mm -hmm. And like I'm ready to like kind of tackle things. This is like the number one question that people ask is how is it modest for a woman to cover her hair with a wig that sometimes is more attractive than her natural hair? In Judaism, modesty is not about being unattractive or ugly. It's about privacy. You look good. Wow, I'm not silver. mad at this. I definitely trust my barber. If he cuts my hair good, I, I try to entrust him to, to do my eyebrows. And, you know, we're in love. Like, I'm staying with him forever. That's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is me. 